nerds to go franchisees, Katherine Monson again. Last week, I came across an article titled, Finding Happy, It's Easier Than You Think. As a result, this video is titled, Finding Happy, Seven Ways to Make It Happen. If happiness is available to us at any moment through the power of our minds, why does it sometimes seem so hard to be happy? When our thoughts run amok, how do we choose better ones? We've all had those experiences, whether it's for a few moments, a few hours, or even days, when finding a happier thought seemed nearly impossible. When endless loops of worry and frustration and anxiety overwhelm us, they challenge our ability to find our happy place, to be in our happy place. They caused us to forget that we even had a choice of how to think. Searching for an answer to this dilemma, I've encountered many clever approaches, many that I use myself. But interestingly, most of them start with change the subject. Well, that makes sense. If our thoughts determine our feelings, and they absolutely do, if our thoughts determine how we feel, why wouldn't we want to change the subject to one that makes us feel better? Instead of wrestling with negativity, we're invited to consciously choose a completely different focus. I like this concept of switching gears or hitting the reset button. And at the same time, I'm also aware that sometimes my monkey mind or our monkey mind doesn't always cooperate with the demand. So how do I coax my mind into changing the subject so I can feel happier? How can you do the same? So here are seven ways to get happy. Number one, create a bliss book of images that make you happy. This could be of things, whatever motivates you, whatever inspires you, whatever resonates. It could be people, nature, art, silly things, happy things, beautiful things, dreamy things. This can be a journal, a hard copy photo album. It could be on your phone, your iPad. It could even be a Pinterest board. Whatever is most readily available to you, it's quick and easy to do given the wealth of free images available online. Idea number two, build a playlist or two or three, music impacts mood. Create a playlist of getting up, beating, excited. Create a playlist for relaxation. You figure it out. There's so many music apps. Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music even have pet playlists already compiled. All you have to do is choose the mood you want and let the music work its magic. And singing along will help too. Idea three, listen to podcasts that inspire and uplift. Giving the mind new ideas to ponder or stories to follow can be very effective in quieting whatever loop your mind is playing. Just make sure they're uplifting podcasts. Idea number four, keep a file or a folder, I have one in my email, of humor, just things to get you in a good state of mind. This is all about getting off a negative, laughing, having something fun, funny, humorous. Mine happens to be called Secret Shifters, right? From reading the book, The Secret. Idea number five, watch fun videos. Nothing makes me happier than cute puppy videos or kitten videos. There are TED Talks, favorite stand-up comedians. It doesn't matter, bookmark your favorites for easy belly laughs or simple smiles. This too will be just enough to lift your mood and start the momentum towards feeling better. Number six, reread your gratitude journal. It's gonna be full of things that make you happy. There's no way to be in gratitude and be negative at the same time. What? You don't have a gratitude journal? Well, this is the perfect time to start one. Just get a, a bound book with lined paper in it or use your phone. Put down the date and write those things that you appreciate. Write the blessings in your life. Fill up a page, fill up a whole journal. You'll be amazed how this list will provide a better feeling just when you need it most. And number seven, the last on our list, go outside 
and really look around. The beauty and the tranquility of nature are genuine remedies for the soul. Take time to notice the sights, the sounds, the smells, listen to the birds, look at the flowers, smell the flowers. This is all about shifting focus and looking for something that simply feels better. And when you breathe in fresh air, feel the sun on your skin or marvel at the beautiful petals on a rose, Whatever was creating your funk is going to melt and loosen up and go away. It is truly a wonderful world. Soak it in. So creating your strategy should be fun, should be playful. Keep reminders where you'll easily see them. I have them on my mirrors at home. The next time the conversation in your head doesn't feel good, call a timeout or just say stop to yourself. Demand a better thought that will get you feeling better. Search for something from the list I just shared that invites laughter or gratitude or daydreaming or relief or awe or wonder or simple contentment. When we find a better feeling thought, our minds relax. When we're relaxed, we're more able to creatively solve problems and we're open to the inspiration the universe is consistently sending our way. However, this is a decision of taking personal responsibility to feel happier. It is a decision to be a victor and not a victim. It is a decision and it works. It's always a good idea to feel better. With a little practice, you'll find it natural and easy to make your way the happy way. Thank you.